Good morning, Grandma Diane here. Nice to see you all. Uh, I have a special announcement to make. Yesterday, because of you and your sharing, we made 310 views. That's well over the 200 that we were aiming for. So congratulations, you did it, and I couldn't have done it without your help. I wonder just how far that number can go. Be interesting to find out, won't it? So thank you again for making that happen for us, and uh, I appreciate your help. Today's story is called The Napping House Wakes Up, and it's written by Audrey Wood and illustrated by Don Wood, and it is a pop-up book. But it is a really well-loved pop-up book, so not all the pages work <laughs> like they're supposed to. But we're going to give it a try and let you see what's going on with this book. Okay, we had a little bit of uh, confrontation here with Puppy and Granddad, so maybe they'll all settle down pretty soon and we can start reading our book. You're going to want to see the pictures, I'm afraid. The Napping House, written by Audrey Wood and illustrated by Don Wood. The Napping House, and look at here. Here's a bed, and we see a granny. My mommy, he looks like you. Here. Here's a boy and a dog. Hmm. The Napping House. It looks like they're all napping, doesn't it? Let's find out what happens. There is a house, a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. And that's the copyright page, and it says to Reuben Pfeiffer. Cool. There is a house, a napping house, where everyone is sleeping. What's going on out here? What's happening in the weather? It's raining. Ah, that would be a good day to take a nap, wouldn't it? In the rain. Oh, here she is, sleeping away. And in that house, there is a bed, a cozy bed, a cozy bed in a napping house. And on that bed, there is a granny, a snoring granny. <laughs> like me, yeah, on a cozy bed in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. Now, I'm not sure what will happen here. I don't know if this one works. I think it, oh, I see, it makes her snore. Whoa. Makes her makes snore. snore. See, listen. You're? Oh. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's where that came from, this little well-loved one right here. I'm not sure how that goes on there. I think it's like that. And on that granny, there is a child, right on top of the granny, a dreaming child in a napping house. And on that child, there is a dog, a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping. Yeah, I think he just kind of moves back and forth. He kind of fell off there, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, we'll just put him there for now. So we don't lose him. And on that dog, there is a cat. A snoozing cat. What's he doing next to In a napping house. And on that cat, there is a mouse. He wiggles his tail, doesn't he? Cool. And on that cat, there is a mouse, a slumbering mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everybody is sleeping. My, oh my, doesn't that look comfy? Mm -hmm. And it's rain is still raining down outside. And on that mouse, there is a flea. Can it be a wakeful flea on a slumbering mouse? 
mouse, on a snoozing cat, on a dozing dog, on a dreaming child, on a snoring granny, on a cozy bed, in a napping house where everyone is sleeping? What happens if you pull the thing? Oh, there comes the flea. Wait, pull it all the way. Can you pull it all the way? <gasps> he gets on the mouse. Oh boy, what is going to happen? Oh, look out! A wakeful flea who bites the mouse. Oh no. Wait, does the mouse turn back? Uh huh. He gets bit by the flea and he jumps up. Who scares the cat? Oh my gosh, look at the cat. Wait, what? Oh, hurry up. <laughs> Who scares the cat? Look at the Oh! So the mouse jumped up and then the cat jumped up. Now I wonder who's going to wake up. The dog. <laughs> Who claws the dog? Oh, that one must be broke. He probably moves or something. Probably goes like that. I don't, I'm not sure. It's just, broken. Just be careful. Yeah, we don't want to break it. It's not Grandma's book. There. The dog looks frightened, doesn't he? Mm. Who thumps the child? <laughs> Will you stay here and watch it? Bingling. He jumps on the child, Ooh, he thumps the child, I should say. Oh, oh my. Who bumps the granny, who breaks the bed in the napping house where no one is sleeping. <laughs> and look at that, it's sunny outside, it's no longer raining, and they're all awake. The pot's gonna break. Yes, it is. He kicked it, or she kicked it, didn't she? I think the cat bumped into it. That could be. Or she kicked it. Or she kicked it. Somebody did. He's going to break his back. I would say. Oh, that was a fun story. She looks so happy. <laughs> so, let's just go back and let's look. Here's Granny sleeping and snoring. <laughs> How cute. And this is where the the um, dog was jumping or sleeping. Or maybe, maybe it goes, goes the like other this. way. Yeah. Maybe it goes that way. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it goes that way. Well, but the but the thing is, yeah, that, matches that. That, 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 that matches that goes right there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so maybe it goes like that. Maybe it goes like that. I don't know. I know. And here we have the cat and the mouse sleeping. And look at the cat's tail, how it goes. That is cool. Okay, and then the mouse is on top of the cat, and this is where it gets the flea comes in, right? Here he comes. And he bites the mouse. The mouse jumps up because he got bit, right? And he hits. There's the cat. Look at that poor cat. He jumps up, lands on the dog. Look at the dog and the cat. Oh my, and that one didn't work, did it? No. Probably because the thing fell out. Oh, I see. Okay. And here's the mouse jumping way over here. And the, cat <laughs> and the reflection in the mirror. Oh, isn't that funny? Wow. And that dog thumps the boy, and oh, they go, who they land on Granny, and all of a sudden, they're all awake. And it stops raining. And it stops raining just in time. They wake up just in time for it to stop raining, so they can go outside and play. Well, that is really a fun book. A very fun book. All righty.
And there's a, here's a, there's the, the Matthew house, a lake, and look at, they're all outside. And remember way back here at the beginning of the story, in the mapping house, nobody was outside. It was raining and a tricycle by itself. And a swing mm -hmm. and a tree house. Oh my. Is that all in the back here too? Sure. Tree is. house, swing, tricycle. And the cat and the dog. Wait, go back to the front where there are flower pots in the windows. Yeah. Flower pots in the windows. In here too? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. No, they're all blooming. Mailbox. Mm hmm Very good. All righty. Well, that was a fun story. The Napping House Wakes Up by Audrey Wood and illustrated by Donna Wood. And they happen to be a married couple. So they work together on their books. There are quite a few um, Napping House stories. Um, just kind of like Grandma Diane's Life in the Neck books, they have a series of books called The Napping House. So you might want to, if you thought this was kind of fun, you might want to check them out. Probably on Amazon, I would think, or Barnes & Noble. Okay, well, that's our story time for today. Tomorrow, as I told you, we're going to be reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. Many of you may have this book in your library, so in your own home library or your own home bookshelf. So dig it out if you can find it and bring it along tomorrow so you can read along with Grandma Diane on Grandma Diane's story time. They come in all sorts of sizes, small, giant ones, they, sizes they like do, that. Don't they? Yes, that's very true. And some of them are paperback and some of them are hardcover and you're right, they do come in all kinds of sizes. But That's most of them are always that long. The caterpillar, right? No, the long. Not like this one where it's oh, like up okay. and down, but it goes the long, long right? way. Okay, gotcha. All right. Thank you much. Uh, thanks again for the 310 views yesterday. Let's see if we can't top that today. And we'll see you tomorrow morning at 11. Bye from Grandma Diane.